all right hey guys what's up it's wolf here on Nolan. how are all my adventures doing hopefully you all are having a fantastic day uh this is a quick, little quick video telling you guys i i'm not streaming today but there is a few reasons why i'm not streaming today because i'm actually getting a lot of progress and things in place so the Elden Ring stream has probably got to wait until next week again. My bad. I, I thought I would be able to stream this week, but I started like actually getting a lot of information and stuff going, like getting roadmap done, things like that. Um, so I wanted to talk about a lot of like the Monster Girls that will be coming to the game, and a few another thing I want to do for another video. So first things first, um, I am currently looking into like idol animations for like the Monster Girls right now, which is interesting because I remember I made like a Fiverr order back in like last year of like August. It was either September, no, it was like September the 26th. Yeah, September 26 is when I made this order. And I'm going to show you guys this order because I, I totally forgot about this until I looked into my orders. As you can see, yeah, this this is Tigora. Uh, this was around the time where I was still using RPG Maker, by the way. This was just trying out and seeing if somebody can get animations. And this animation actually worked inside of um, RPG Maker. With, well, with Pokemon Essentials, which was great. I'm not sure how, what method I would be using to get her into Godot. I know there was a, there was like a, there was something I did in Unity. I think I just placed in the gra the GIF and it just turned it into frames. Maybe Godot has something like that. I haven't tried it yet. I'll probably try that later, but yeah. That's one way I can do it, or I, can, or I can just go to Unity, drop it in there, and maybe it'll turn into frames I can copy and put into Godot. That also works too, actually. But, yeah. This is... That old image, and this is the original. I say, to be honest, she didn't lose any quality or anything. But I... I this is where, around the time I had... I needed it a certain size, so it was a lot smaller and a lot less seeable. But if I opened RPG Maker and put her in, it was a lot more seeable because RPG Maker has a lower resolution. So, to be honest, I could still use this. Uh, more news is that once we get done with the NPC characters, Mono Studio wants to go back and do remakes of the starter monster girls and a lot of the other monster girls that they've made um issue with this like i've said with them is that i can't risk their artists disappearing again or well their colorists disappearing again so so pretty much my second artist my will be doing the coloring and you guys have seen her like coloring is basically all the newer monster girls that were well the last latest monster girls and the npcs that are currently going on now so i'm not sure how bono studio is gonna draw anything or how this is all gonna work this is gonna be experimental and this was both agreed upon for both of them so my will be doing the coloring and mono will be doing the sketching and outlining once i sign off of it I'll be giving it to her and we'll see how that proceeds and how that goes. Then if it's good enough for just doing that and everything just stays the same, I will look into getting them animated, which as you guys saw, it it doesn't cost a lot, to be honest. I think some of this was tip also. But yeah, it doesn't cost a lot. I think no, no. Nah. I think I went with our highest, and this was the result. Then I gave them, I think, a five dollar tip or something like that. I don't know, actually. Probably something I'll have to look at. Oh, it was ten dollar tip. 
So yeah, so yeah, it was it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I just added on a little bit extra for them because it was actually really good and everything I wanted, but I didn't continue it just because RPG Maker just had was so limited versus everything. So yeah, we didn't continue on with that unfortunately. I might reach back out to them and see if they want to continue more with that, but uh, as of right now. Uh, we're focusing on getting everything ready. Right now, I, as I said inside of the community chat, that we are four to five NPCs done. So probably what's, what is it now? It's about to be end of August. So probably towards the end of next month would be when we go back to Monster Girls or probably next month after that in an early version of that who who knows but once those crucial npcs that play an important role in the story are done then basically from that point on we'll be going back to monster girl designs and we'll be completely focusing on coding the only reason that um i'm not extremely focused on coding right now is because the NPCs aren't done and a surprise is still kind of pushed back. That surprise is gonna push the game forward in multiple different ways once I reveal it. I just, just another month now, <laughs> then I, well not another month, another week or so and I gotta wait for that. And maybe another week after that because I kinda wanna do a little bit of testing of it I actually don't know, but um, anywho, let's get past that. The number of Monster Girls that I have in my head towards designs and everything is actually pretty heavy. <laughs> like, I have like hundreds of designs, probably like a thousand at least, of different design choices. Because I can make multiple cat girls. I can make multiple dog girls. I can make multiple dragons. I can make multiple, just all, so many of them. Monster girls have so many unique designs versus like actual monsters. That's kind of the reason why I just stopped playing Pokemon. It's just because their imagination started to go a little bit south. <laughs> Like, but with Monster Girls, there's so many design choices I can actually go with. And it's going to be fun figuring that out. And bringing, hopefully my artists can bring imag my imaginations of these characters to life. I will work hard with them to come up with those. But, <sighs> huh. Let's just say, there's going to be more than folklore like actual like mythological things that are in our world too i'll also come up with my own monsters as you guys have kind of seen <laughs> through um shadow cat and tigera that was my own just you know side project thing there'll be some fantasy creatures but a unique thing I want to also do, and I wonder if anybody actually remembers this. Um, if you guys have ever played Kingdom Hearts, you guys remember the whole Marlin storybooks? I kind of want to do something like that as well, to where it plays on like, you know, Snow White, Cinderella, stuff like that. But to have all those designs just like my own unique thing. And even have any, have some like custom stories that I come up with. And I don't aim for this game to be friendly. <laughs> I just want that to be known. No power or friendship type BS all the way through. There may be some now and then, but I, I personally like darker turns of story now and then. Not all the time. I, I I won't just be killing off your favorite characters left and right. It's fucking like other animes I know. <laughs> Gotta kill. Anywho, it. How do I explain it? 
The story will be dark. It will be also a lot more mature themed. And this is not like some prawn game. I just want that to be known. It's etchy, so it's pretty much softcore, I would say. So there won't be any certain explicit scenes or anything like that, maybe. <laughs> Nothing that, that will be like banned off of like streaming, maybe. I, I'm actually not sure how the future of that will work. A lot of YouTubers will have quite a bit of censoring, maybe. I'm not sure how YouTube would take that. I'm not sure how Twitch would take it. I'm not sure how any streaming platform would take these designs once I get like fully into a lot of design ideas I have. It's just going to be something interesting I have to, have to just see for myself towards the end. <laughs> so yeah, the story will take darker tones, turns now and then. Um, I don't want like a whole like, how do I explain it? I don't want a story, like an actual story to the game. But for the player to make their own story out of it. So let's say I'm not going to send you down like a linear path. It's mostly like, let's, how do I explain this? God damn. Um, let's say there's a quest board with a whole bunch of stories. You are not the hero. Let's say that. You are not the hero of the story. You are not saving the world. You are just an adventurer going through your life and you can either choose to go on these people's journey and adventures and their stories and you interact with them. But there really isn't an actual story apart from the lure of how this whole thing happened of how Monster Girls came to be. Now there will be like some legendary moments to where, you know, a certain legendary you encounter will play a heavy role inside of that story. If you catch it, then just goes on from there. It's, I don't want to spoil too much, so I'm trying to like tiptoe around it a little bit, just, just without spoiling too much. So I'm just going to leave it there and stop tiptoeing and just leave you with a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a string dangling in front of you. Just a little bit of key jangling. But, uh, next section I wanted to talk about is a Q&A video. If you guys have any questions about the game or myself, put them down in the comments below because I do want to do a Q&A video. If you guys want to know about me, please put about you, as for an example here, about you, please put that in, then put in your question. If you guys are wanting to know about the game, about the game, then your question. And from about there, I can just pretty much, you know, talk about a lot of new things or an ideas I have if you guys want to know any ideas I have for the game or any mechanics that I have planned any monster girls that you're looking forward to or any monster girls you want to see in the game or ask me if I'm going to add them etc etc I'm just going on ADHD is kicking in I'm going to end it there <laughs> so a little bit of teasing going on of possible routes I can go with inside of uh, Monster Girl Utopia. Hopefully you guys are here to join me for the long run because God dang, it's going through a long run right now. <laughs> but time, time is a, uh, time is great for polishing. That's all I can say. No game is made quickly within like, no good game is made quickly within like just a few days. It takes time to polish and get everything going. And I'm going to take my time with this and make it perfect to my standards. Because you can't please everyone in the world. That's all I can say. You can't please everyone. So perfect to my standards. With that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.
hopefully I can actually stream next week <laughs> and play some more games with you guys. Anyhow, to the peace. Until the morning comes, it's a strong